conservative Christian leaders are calling on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to stop a bill proposed by members of his coalition to make it criminal to tell people about Jesus in Israel. Our Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen is live near Tel Aviv with more. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, everyone. A big story just before, uh, days before Palm Sunday, Good Friday, and Easter. Sacred time for Christians. Two ultra-Orthodox members of Prime Minister Netanyahu's coalition have introduced a bill that would punish believers for sharing the gospel of Jesus with prison time. United Torah Judaism Knesset members Moshe Gaffney and Yaakov Asher introduced legislation last week making it illegal to share in conversation or produce content online, in print, or by mail. Their explanation of the bill emphasizes a warning to stop Christians in particular. The punishment, one year in prison or two years for sharing with someone under the age of 18. Joel Rosenberg is the host of the Rosenberg Report and editor-in-chief of All Israel News. He's also a Jewish follower of Jesus. Obviously, Jewish people don't agree with Christians, evangelicals or others, about who Jesus is, right? We all know that there's a theological difference, but evangelical Christians and, and other Christians have been so supportive of Israel and the Jewish people. So to silence, to muzzle and gag even Israelis like myself and others to say, you can't talk to another person about your faith and why you believe it, that is terrible. That is not freedom. Although he doesn't agree theologically, Netanyahu has always been a strong friend of evangelicals, speaking at meetings and believing freedom of speech and freedom for Israel's small Christian community uh, should be protected. Now, should this bill gain traction, it could spark a serious clash with the 60 million evangelicals in the United States and 600 million around the world. Gaffney first introduced a ban on evangelism in 1999. It went nowhere. United Torah Judaism is in a stronger negotiating position now, though, since Netanyahu needs to keep the party in his coalition, or it could threaten Netanyahu's ability to remain in power. Allison, back right. to you. Daniel Cohen, thank you so much.